Okie dokie. Camera bags. You know, I, I, I probably should not be admitting this because it not only sounds pathetic, I think it is pathetic. By the way, every camera bag that I bought except for one has been used. Like this one was pretty dirty when I bought it. I had to clean the hell out of it. <clears throat> Got a couple of them of different sizes. This is a uh, camera bag recommendation. It's kind of like recommending underwear, right? It's like the underwear that fit the fat dude is probably not going to be too comfortable for like the skinny person, right? So <laughs> camera bag recommendations are, are extremely subjective. Uh, however, um, the thing that I shouldn't admit is that I have, oh God, I think I got nearly 40 camera bags and that is, that, that's actually pretty horrible. I, I've tried every popular, by the way, I can't stand Billingham bags, overpriced. I'm half English, so don't take this the wrong way, but oh, those bags suck. I just, I would love to meet, oh God, Billingham bags, horrible, horrible bags, um, horrible the leather is thin and cheap. The stitching... Oh, Why do people buy those things? They're horrible. It's like, well, that's your opinion. And people have told me that before. It's like, yeah, but you know what? Some opinions are worth more than others. Um, I feel like I've got as many bags as I have lenses, which I've got hundreds and hundreds of lenses. Anyway, my two favorite bags of all time, they come in different shapes and sizes. Um, this one is the Retrospective 30. It's a, about two inches wider then the uh, retrospective seven my favorite bag of all time they're soft and comfortable it's kind of like uh lycra underwear <laughs> it's literally it's literally like that but the features the design the build quality actually i, I can't think of another bag that is more com i mean this is one ugly ass bag i think the main reason people don't buy the piss out of this bag whatever size it is they choose, and there's a lot of different uh, sizes of these of these bags. I got a couple of them. Is because they're so damn ugly. I mean, to me, I mean, let's, let's just face it, they are pretty ugly. They're soft, they're comfortable, they're extremely well made. Um, Think Tank actually gets my vote for number one bag manufacturer. They're not paying me a thing to say this. I don't know if they'll ever even stumble upon this video. They might or might not, but look into a Think Tank. I mean, it might be an ugly ass bag, but you can also flip these over to make it uh, silent so the velcro doesn't do that uh, nasty uh, ripping noise um, intelligent well thought out incredibly well made comfortable wonderful excellent exquisite really uh, a 10 out of 10 I'm a guy who hates everything pretty much a guy who hates everything it takes a lot to impress me and uh, actually nothing impresses me more than a retrospective bag and the only thing I hate about it is it is just one ugly ass bag um, second favorite bag, and I hate to admit this, but I have three of these bags, not like this, they're all different. <laughs> um, this is the owner Brixton. I have a leather one that's like this, the brown cognac. I have a leather one that's black, I got it so cheap, I mean I have no idea how I got it that cheap. And I have a canvas one, waxed canvas. This is the Ona Brixton, O-N-A Brixton. Uh, pretty damn expensive, a new one of these is... 450 bucks. These are made in the Dominican Republic. Wow, amazing. Soft, comfortable, wonderful. Um, the only reason the size just underneath it is about this size, and I have one right behind me here somewhere. There it is. Is the. Yep. I guess I should grab this bag too. You can see how much smaller it is. Like, yeah, dude's got too many bags. Fat boy's a bag collector. I'm not a bag collector. Um, you can see this is the Prince Street. You can see the size difference. It's about two and a quarter inches or whatever it is, it's smaller. It's just underneath the size to carry a couple speed lights and a couple lenses and throw your camera in there. This is really made for like a speed light and a couple lenses and some oddball crap. This one is perfectly big enough for most cameras, two lenses, and a speed light or two. That's why I prefer the Brixton over the Print Street. But they make this bag, the Brixton, um, in the exact same sort of smoke color. They actually got like nine different colors. But this one's a wax canvas, and this, of course, is leather. They have them in black leather, this color leather, and they have the wax canvas, and then some other freaky-deaky colors, and a mismatch between leather and wax canvas. Anyway, like a new one of these is like 450 bucks. I, didn't even, I actually paid less than $200 for this thing. Um, second favorite camera bag of all time. I get asked this question a lot, and uh, I guess I just thought I'd make a video. Anyway, I'm not sponsored by anybody. 
I don't have any affiliate links, so if you think I'm like uh, blowing smoke up your skirt to sell you anything, I sure as hell am not, because whatever the hell you buy, I don't make a dime. Um, but I do have a lot of... Ex I've, the second thing I got the most experience, well, other than cameras, lenses, cameras, and definitely camera bags. I've worked in a few camera stores, too, and I've sold the piss out of camera bags, but, I mean, I haven't worked in a camera store in a long time, so a lot of these newer bags, obviously, I never sold back in the day, but, my God, I sure have tried a lot of camera bags. A lot. But they are very subjective, um, but you should really look into a think tank bag. And the Ona bags, while expensive, are, you know, they've got the looks, but they've not only got the looks, they've actually got the fit, feel, the comfort, the quality of uh, production standards. Um, obviously, the wax canvas ones, I think new are like 260 bucks or something like that. Of course, you can get them used off it. I never bought a new camera bag. Well, maybe one ages ago. Everything I get is used. You know? So someone's got a camera bag's got some scratches on it and whatnot. These bags actually come pre scratched from the factory. They actually sit there with keys and I do a lot of leather work. They sit there with keys and they sit there with fingernails and they do this number. They scratch the bags up on So what do I care if I buy a used bag that's been scratched after it's been scratched new, then sold and then scratched so who cares? I'm a I'm a cheapskate. I'm all about a deal. So anyway, that's my crazy stinking Someone's going to agree with me. Crazy, crazy video on uh, camera bags and camera bag recommendations. So I can just about guarantee you I've used more camera bags than anybody else out there. I've got some, I think this is quite a uh, accurate video. Well, like I said, camera bags are very subjective, you know. What fits my crazy form, it doesn't fit yours. But when it comes to a shoulder strap bag like this, rather than a cross sling bag or a backpack bag, I mean, it doesn't matter what shape or size you are. I mean, quality is quality. Build quality, thoughtfulness of design and function and fit and blah, blah, blah. And all of that is applicable to regardless of what size you are. Which obviously I'm definitely not the size of most people, right? As we all are well aware. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good weekend. До свидания. Увидимся. Пока. And aloha.